This week on StarCap, man charged for rubbing cops' buttocks. Bojo Banton rises again in New York City. Alice itching for Hero Circle return. Bolt and Fraser Price among this century's 100 greatest athletes. Reggae Sum Fest off to blazing start. And in the Dare Pastor review, this girl is trying to tie my son. Star fam, I'm Chanel and welcome to StarCap, a recap of the big stories that caught your attention this week. A corporate area man is to stand trial in November following allegations that he robbed a policewoman's derriere. It is alleged that earlier this month, the accused, Dave Ricketts, was being transported to the holding area of the Kingston Central lockup when he rubbed his hands on her buttocks. Now, it is unclear whether the alleged rub was sensual or not, but what is clear was senior parish judge Sanchia Burrell's displeasure with Ricketts gazing at the policewoman during his first appearance in court. He was remanded in custody until November 1. More than 18,000 fans showed up for Bojo Banton's historic return to New York City with his Long Walk to Freedom concert. Filling the UBS arena in Queens last Saturday, the Gargamel reminded his fans just how iconic his discography is. Praise has been pouring in from all corners of the interwebs. Even frequent collaborator and reggae legend in his own right, Gramps Morgan, lauded Banton's return to American stages, saying it debunks the theory that reggae is dying. Following the final verdict in her case, disgraced vendor Alice Waugh is hoping to put the whole ordeal behind her and return to Hero Circle to continue selling crabs. The once-beloved crab vendor went viral online nine months ago when a video was released of her relieving herself in a bucket at her stall. The area was swiftly shut down by the public health department and all vendors, except Alice, enrolled in mandatory training sessions. On Wednesday, Waugh was fined $250,000 for breaching the Public Health Act. Regardless of her wrongdoings, Waugh says she knows her loyal customers have forgiven her and she would like to resume her post at Crab Circle. Me know about me. But what about you guys? Would you buy from Alice? Jamaican sprint powerhouses Usain Bolt and Shelly Ann Fraser Price have been named on ESPN's list of 100 greatest athletes of the 21st century. While Fraser Price clocked in at 77th on the list, the fastest man alive secured the number 9 spot. This comes just days before athletes from across the globe convene in Paris for the 2024 Olympic Games. Reggae Sumfest 2024 has been blazing since Sunday with a new event every day. Kicking off with the Family Fun Day last Sunday, the week has seen a plethora of performances leading up to the two main nights of the festival. Even though we still have one night to go, here are a few of our favorite moments thus far. <laughs> And in their pastor this week, this girl is trying to tie my son. This Jamaican mother is convinced that her son's girlfriend will work obi upon him. She says since he moved out, his belly has gotten way bigger, and she's just sure the girlfriend will try tie him. She even brought him to her obiaman to confirm her diagnosis. Him say not no gusto, but his mother is convinced. What do you guys think? Is a big belly a sign of tying? Sound off in the comments below. That's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on X, formerly Twitter, and TikTok at Jamaica Star. I'm Chanel. Until next time, keep reading The Star, The People People.